sometimes in life you wait for things to happen and you wait and wait and wait and they don't happen and then they happen all of a sudden when you least expect it that's the way life is it happens and it did for me today bookaholics welcome back to my channel this is angela your own bookaholic brown nim this is a channel where i talk about books books that i'm reading books that i've read books that i'm planning to read books that i love books that i hate and all things related to books so if you are a bookaholic like me please do not hesitate from subscribing to my channel and also please like share and comment if you don't mind today i'm going to talk to you about something that i've been waiting for such a long time and actually i had given up on it because i thought it's not gonna happen but it did Thankfully, way, way, way back in the month of March, if you can remember it, where we were all coming out of lockdown and things were opening up, you know, for business. And uh, I may, I have this stupid idea that, you know, maybe I should go out and help businesses that are related to books, you know, because a lot of people have been facing losses because of shutdown of businesses, basically overall lockdown due to Corona. So what i did is i went to i did many things you know i ordered books from local bookstores and things like that one of the things that i did uh was to order from the big book box so the big book box that's a mouthful um is a book subscription service in india here and um, it's one of the best apparently so i thought that okay i know uh, it's kind of an indulgence but i just wanted to try it out because anyway i wanted to try a book subscription at least once so i thought that this is the right time because you know okay i can help the business by doing that and also i can get my wish as well by doing that so i went ahead and ordered it so before I get into what I ordered uh, just a quick view of what they have to offer so the big book box uh, they have actually three options available if I can get it to open get it to work so the first option is espresso box which is 1799 per month rupees per month and you will get one paperback one hardcover three to five goodies and uh, they claim that the total box value is 2000 rupees so you're getting it for 1799 and then you have a cafe mocha box, which is 3199 3, rupees per month. And it will have one paperback, three hardcovers, three to six goodies. And the total box value, they claim it is 4,000. And you're getting it for 3199 And the last option is the brevet box, which is one paperback, four hardcovers, three to seven goodies, uh, which is for 4,499. Whereas the total box value is rupees 6000 currently i think they have some uh, christmas offers going on and uh, they have the secret santa option where you can uh, you know opt for or order some goodies not book box actually but uh, some christmas related goodies i think and uh, they also have a price range for that as well so that's the big box uh <sighs> Let me get this right. The big book box subscription options. And uh, so, yeah, guys, check it out. But what I did was because this is the first time that I was trying, I wanted to get, go for the basic package, which is the espresso box. And today I received the courier from DTDC. And uh, I opened the outside packaging. And this is how it looks. It's very good looking package oh, there are things moving around so i hope you can see it the big book box a reader's better friend and here you have spread the love on uh, okay so they are on instagram of course facebook and twitter and then for any more info they have their website here unique portable magic inside and uh, yeah you can see here i ordered way back in march and this is the oops april box that i have <laughs> worth the wait <laughs> they themselves are saying it 
I thought the customer should say that. Anyways, the April box. Thank you for subscribing to India's most loved book box. Sanitize your hands. Contains books, bookish special goodies. And the rest is gone. Okay. This was packed on 26th September. Billed on 27th October. Ordered in March. And this is the April box. So they have all the months in here. March, April, September, October. And I received it in December. So, yeah. They're all over the place. Anyways. I'm opening it. I'm excited. This is how it is. So the first thing I see is this one. Which is, I think it's a lip balm. For kisses as delectable as croissants. Mm -hmm. It's good. I wanted a lip balm actually. So this is good. Next is monthly enamel pin. Alright. Let's see. Wow, this is an enamel pin. I hope you can see. So let's read what's written on it. Magic is forgetting that something ever was other than as you willed it. Okay. This is actually very pretty. I like it. Then you have, again, monthly enamel pin. They don't look like enamel pin, but let's see. It's like a chain kind of thing lock it and wow this one i love no bonus no funerals uh there are two of these same ones then i have something packed here but i can see from the outline that it's a monk it's a monk definitely and i don't have my it's so blade here, so oh, come on. so yeah, the same. Not bad. It's okay. I would have liked some label and bookish things on this. It's too plain, but it's okay. Let's see what's the next thing. Which is available here. Yeah, this is a monk for sure. You know, the more hasty you are, the more time you take, I think. <laughs> That's what's happening to me now. So this is a, a monk. Wake up and rattle the stars. So yeah, it's okay. It's a cute little monk. Not that great. It's okay. It's not even a monk. It's a cup. So next, I have an envelope here. Hey, Miss Adventurer, uh, these are your April box knickknacks, but I don't have any knickknacks in it. What I see here is okay. There is a there are two postcard kind of thing. Uh, one is this. I think it's related to the book. That's included in this box the theme for your box is awfully forbidden misadventures <laughs> i should have opened this first okay anyways list of contents bear and nightingale enamel pin oh so this was the enamel pin which i showed you it's just the bear and nightingale enamel pin aquatar themed teacup oh so this teacup is aquatar themed i don't know that because i didn't read those books uh, no mourners, no funerals pendant. That's an, that I showed you already. Uh, literary lip balm, of course. A set of two bookmarks, uh, which I didn't show you. These are the bookmarks. There is too much light here. Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. And this is the back side. And the next bookmark is Come Let's Dance with a Broken Heart. And 
and uh, yeah this is a postcard which I showed you so the postcard is uh, okay they don't mention the postcards at all one last stop print art print maybe this is what it is could be yeah one last stop this is one last stop art print and yeah so those are the things that we have the knickknacks as they call it and then we come to the book so one book is one last stop by Casey McQuiston she's the author of red white and royal blue I think this is a YA book and uh, yeah let's see I haven't read this book so it's good that I haven't read it looks like a YA the next book is the hardcover which is kisses and cousins <laughs> I hope that's how you pronounce it this book will leave you smiling, swooning, and desperate to visit Paris. Oh my God. No, I'm not going to read this book because I'm already... Uh, I have gone to Paris only once. And I just had like one and a half days or something to visit the place because we uh, you know, we were in the middle of a business trip uh, to Germany, which is where my company headquarters is. And uh, we just had one, one, one and a half days to visit Paris. And it was one of the best days of my life I think uh, you know it was the middle of summer sometime in July it was burning hot one of the hottest summer in Europe in like I don't know 100 years or something and we were in Paris it was super hot it was like 40 plus or something but the city was so beautiful and chanting uh, e even in that burning sweltering heat i enjoyed every bit of the city so if this book is going to remind me of paris i think this will be my new favorite because paris is one of my favorite cities the sun is just setting on all the slate rooftops i scan the endless horizon and louis must guess what i'm looking for because he pulls on my hand and silently points towards the right in the direction of the Eiffel Tower, which is just visible in the distance. Is this for real? I ask. Louis stands behind me and wraps his arms around my waist as we keep admiring the view. I hope so. He whispers in my ear. Okay, I think I'm going to read this uh, as soon as I can. This book is written by Anne-Sophie Johannu. I hope that's how her name is pronounced. I'm sorry if I butchered it. And uh, she's the author of the American Royals. So let me see the naked hardcover. Okay, it's cute. So if it's too bright here, let's see. You have the Eiffel Tower here. So okay, this is the best thing I think in the entire box. I really, really love paris and anything related to paris and uh, you know what we reached paris uh around 6 30 or something so it was already sun setting so then we had to find our hotel we found the hotel we went there changed freshened up and then we came out it was already like dark and then like uh we checked the map and they said okay it's 20 minutes uh to the tower of eiffel and we thought okay fine let's take a walk and then we were walking and walking and then all of a sudden so we we're like okay are we in the right direction or not and then we were like you know looking around and then in the distance you can see the lit up tower oh my god it was so beautiful it was one of the best moments of my life i was like oh you you just cannot explain you know paris is a feeling paris is an emotion you have to go there uh, I mean I wish I could have been there with my husband because you know it would have been super romantic there I'm sure so yeah uh, but it's one of the I mean I, I, I have I'm, I, oof, I'm at loss of words <laughs> uh, maybe I can um, post a picture of my first ever 
glimpse of Paris, you know, the, the first video I took, the moment I'm walking and then I see tower that right there in front of me, far in the distance and I was like, so, 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 oh the moon. So, Okay, sorry, I digress. So that was the big book box unboxing. So stay tuned for more bookish content. I will be back before you know it. This is Angela, your bookaholic Browning, signing off. Bye bye.